All right. I'll make it there, I think. It's interesting. <coughs> if this is just a support beam, or are we going to take a look? I see you. And I missed you. He's got to find the hands. The bronze, well, copper hands, I think, is what we need. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess a few things that I've done in my settings have... Um, ...caused a few issues. Guys, mental notes. There's a six. These are all like quite small, I feel, these puzzles.
feel like seems familiar this one. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there was one similar to this in Talos, the original Talos, but... What I need to do now is take this off there. And swap this to red. There we go. Real quite simple. Hey, 1K. Hey, I Neville. wanted to take a moment to talk to you. I know we're all worried about Byron, especially Al, and I don't want to minimize what happened. But now that the mayor's here, I'm afraid they're going to take this and turn it into a reason to bury their head in the sand. Yes, Byron was rash. He wanted to find Athena so badly that it made him blind. But the thing is, he was right. He was completely and utterly right about what this technology could mean to us. I didn't see it at first, but now it couldn't be more clear to me. The theory of everything is the future. And if we reject it, we're condemning ourselves to a slow death. Um... I mean, no. I mean, I'm in the middle. I get it. I do. I'm not blind to the dangers. But all we do anymore is think about the worst case scenario. You know, I didn't even realize how much I'd limited my own imagination. How I'd talked myself into just accepting this incredibly poor future we'd been offered. A future where things just keep getting slightly worse every day, and we accept it because... because we're ashamed of ourselves. Not of something we've done, but just... of our existence. Like we're a virus on this planet. Like our humanity is a sin. I'm so tired of it, Wong K. I kept my head down. I focused on fixing things. But that's all I ever did. I never improved anything. I never built anything new. And when I imagine going on like this for thousands of years, that's a fate worse than death. It really is. Either we accept, like you said, that it's our cosmic duty to spread consciousness, and we do it boldly and proudly, or we might as well switch ourselves off. Be better, because I don't think I can handle the alternative. Wow, okay. I mean, I don't agree, like, the theory of everything is 100% going to solve all our problems. That's why I'm kind of like a little bit on the fence. Didn't want to say a, a definite yes, and didn't want to say a diff, definite no. That's why I kind of like have some reservations about it, so. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, I really wish this cop would do one. All right, let's have a bit of story time. Ask me and if an ask me and if him with Alexander Drennan. It's impossible not to love any character played by Jeff Goldblum, of course. And Ian Malcolm gets some of the best best lines. Some of the main reasons he became an in joke at, at Ian is just because he's memorable and funny. If we want to talk about what he represents on a more serious level, though, then I have to say that I personally think he's wrong. The neurotic fear that things will always go wrong, that we could never really have control over what we do, is misplaced. There's a legitimate critique of how the park operates, of science being subjected to the pursuit of profit, but that does not mean it can't be done differently. And if you'll excuse me for going full nerd here for a moment, why treat bringing back the non non non-avian dinosaurs as some kind of transgression? The extinction of those magnificent creatures wasn't some sort of intentional step forward, it was just a random catastrophe. If we can strike a blow at the obvious cruelty of the universe that an act of human just that's an act of human justice it's no less wrong than bringing back species we've accidentally driven to extinction horrible things happen all the time evolution favors survival not beauty we can make the universe more beautiful if we can add a biodiversity and bring things back that were lost we absolutely should hell maybe one day will we terraform a planet and populate it with dinosaurs but this time we give them an asteroid defense system. Take that, Mother Nature. This is the Alexander Drennan that I love the most, dreaming of all the good humans could do in the world. I try to hang on to that. But the expansion of which I speak was much more evil than all this. It's the Hydrate David. I have remarked that the material is materialist like the madman is in prison in the prison of one in the prison of one thought these people seem to think it's singular singularly singularly inspiring to keep on saying that the person prison was very large besides the scientific universe gave one no novelty no relief the cosmos went on forever but not in its wildest constellation could there be anything really interesting anymore for instance, such as forgiveness or free will. So these expanders of the universe had nothing to show us except more and more infinite corridors of space lit by ghastly suns and empty of all that is divine. Here, Chesterton's imagination, normally so powerful, fails him utterly. The problem is that he is not interested in the universe, and so not only does he fail to see, he fails to even look. He finds what he's expected to find. Exactly. So he misses not only the grandeur of the universe, but the miracle that is magnified by the contrast, that forgiveness and free will that do exist within people. Um, when Hercules came upon Atlas, the Titan had grown old and tired. I have borne the weight of the celestial spheres for billions of years, he said. All the comings and goings of mortals, the tragedies of chance, the pointless wars have left me weak. Soon I will falter, and the celestial spheres will fall and shatter. You must take my place. But Hercules was hesitant. I am young and strong and virile, and have many women yet to bed and many wondrous feats yet to perform. What a waste it would be to spend my life holding up the world instead. And yet it must be done. So what choice do I have? Sudden by the in imminent loss of his heroic life, Hercules went for one last swim in the Ionian Sea. There on storied Ithaca, he met a cleaver, a cleaver, a clever old man of many devices. The answer you seek, son of Zeus, do, does not lie within you. Rather, it lies in the world around you and in what you can make of it. So Hercules uses divine strength to build two great pillars of stone, which even today hold up the sky, and Atlas was liberated forever. Like, some of the text over like the last um, 
few episodes. I mean, I don't claim to know a lot about um, mythology and, and different bits and pieces at all. I, I know very little, in fact, and I, I didn't realize, like, that's obviously why an atlas is called an atlas, because back in Greek mythology, he was holding up the world, so. All right, we are rerouting. Or if you're from America, we're re rerouting. Quite possibly, I'll be us uh, a bad shout. Interesting. Okay, I think I see. that but then obviously the minute I take this away Interesting. That's interesting. Ah, that's pretty neat. That's not. I don't even know if I needed to do that, to be fair. so that we are going to need to reroute it because um, yeah, we're going to need to open this one as well.
That's gonna kill it. I get the idea, but then, like, when we come around to this other side, it's a little bit more complicated. So, Nobby puts it claustrophobic and hugged the wall so much. I'm not surprised that the founder chose you, 1K. You're very much like her. Inquisitive, intelligent, and dedicated. But remember, intelligence by itself has little value unless it is ethically applied. You bootstrap through the window. Okay. Okay, we've got to remember here, this is where our star thingy is. What's the name of this puzzle? What was it called? Mobile Instruments. Why do I need the platform? Let's get distracted for a minute. But 
are you going? Seriously. This one is quite the journey, isn't it? Start to go. God appears, and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in night. But does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day? Of the star puzzle. Um, I was about to say it's not showing the map, but it is. Silly to assume that we could get to it the side I actually go to. A hammer forges and a hammer breaks. But who can know the heart of the blacksmith? Boom! 24 stars. I believe that's 100%. We just admire them. Just look pretty. Okay, back to mobile instrument. Have to 
we start this prison. I don't know what we need to do, if anything, with that platform. But the name doesn't even really give anything to me either. Like, mobile instruments.
Am I missing... like try and get on that grass and take a look from above there but I just have no idea what I would use the platform for. Platform is normally when you've got a clone, isn't it? <coughs> oh, 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 oh.
Oh, it does. Ha ha ha. That's pretty neat. Although I've just screwed myself because I got in the way. I blocked the beam. That's a neat solution. I was just trying to think like when I only ever use a platform when I need to like stand or, or get like a clone or something to stand on me. So yeah, that was a little bit weird to, to fathom out, but I really like that. It's a neat solution. See here. I don't like that. Um, I don't feel like it's very easy to know where you're going to drop this. I, I don't know. It feels a bit. I'm sure it's not, but it feels a bit random. I'm not sure I like it. And I don't want to do that. I'd really like it if there was just like a place here kind of thing on there. Do you absolutely know where you are placing it? Like now, I just feel like it's like bouncing on top of my head. Cool. There we go. Even with third person, I'll be. You know, I still Wonka, think I would. You know, entirely terrible at this. You, you say that now we're on the final layer, and I will. Um, I still don't think I would help too much. If I'm, if I'm honest. Like my perception of it would be um, like a, a placement. Oh. Theory of everything. I've been around for a long time. If I'd have been a bit earlier, I might have been the first companion. So I've seen the ups and downs of the city. Although in recent years, I've kept myself kept to myself now i'd like to pose a question i don't have an answer in mind i just really want to hear what everyone thinks i still have i have no doubt that Athena's theory of everything will change our lives but do you think that perhaps we're better off not knowing perhaps having all the answers would just make the universe boring ancient writers showed that knowledge can lead to cynicism we must maintain the sense of wonder of a child theory of everything wouldn't be the end of our journey it would be the next step it would it would equip us to ask the next set of questions, to explore new possibilities, and to discover and create new wonders. I believe that the universe can be understood or described in object terms that is pure scientism. Nothing exists. Even if something exists, nothing can really be known about it. And even if something can somehow be known about it, information about it can be communicated. It can't be communicated. Even if it can't, could be communicated, it would not be understood. Whew, that was a mouthful. Uh, the truth can be harsh. It's possible that the theory of everything would reveal facts that we'd find hard to deal with, but that doesn't mean we should not confront those facts and our own ethical responsibilities. I'm not going to agree with Belmarsh. I have no idea what they're trying to say, if I'm honest. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to flow with um, Milev. Milev. Sort of comments, by the way, 1K. Thank you for all the hard work you've done in New Jerusalem. Solving all those puzzles is quite a gargantuan endeavor. 
No, I just feel like there should be like something where you could, like when you look down, it's like a place on the floor. No, you, it's it's a bit weird having the box on top of the platform, and that's not like natural kind of game mechanic behavior, I suppose. It's more of a one-off. But um, well, like you put that down, and then the box just kind of like goes wherever it goes. So yeah, it's uh, it's a bit weird. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. Um, apologies for the slightly later start and the slightly shorter episode, but we are motoring through West 3 here. We've got two more of the main puzzles to, but to do. We've got to find the lab, find the um, lost puzzles, and then we ascend the tower, which on Friday will hopefully take us to the mega structure for one final time. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. And until then, I've been Nocky and Awesome. Take care, stay safe, and as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys.